The subject is networking. I'm Andy McCaskey from SDR News, and I'm here with Mr. Jacob Rapp. Jacob and I have had a chance to talk online, but I think this is our first time to meet uh, in person. Yeah, that's and, good to be here. And, and so you've had a busy day, pretty stressful day. You had a major, major, major demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we had a nice demo of our new application, our SDN application in the keynote. Oh, uh, in, right in the keynote with yep. Meg. Actually, not with Meg, it was with um, uh, uh, Antonio, oh. our new uh, GM. Okay, so still the, the, the still, anxiety uh, level kind of cranked up. Right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So what was it that uh, networking uh, announced at uh, HP Discover? So we announced the a new SDN application called Virtual Cloud Networking. And that's really providing network virtualization with disruptive economics because we don't have to require a forklift upgrade of any of the infrastructure to take advantage of network virtualization. So when I say network virtualization, it's really about deploying isolated virtual ne virtual networks in minutes versus weeks. But we didn't stop there. We also wanted, with that simplicity, to provide a greater customer advantage, really some new innovations. So we didn't just want to do things simple, we want to do them innovative. So we can actually tie in software-defined networking and all of our great ecosystem partners into network virtualization now. So now, does this mean that uh, an application such as Microsoft Link is able to uh, provide information that's in, then uh, prioritized by the network? Yeah, I mean, to start with, a lot of those the, this virtual cloud networking application is around cloud networking. How do we deploy things quicker in the cloud? but then optimize them. So like the Microsoft Link application is a good example of, we can not only now deploy it in a private cloud environment in minutes versus the weeks or months that it took before, with its own secure isolated network, but then we tie in network, for, uh, tie in like the Microsoft Link optimization, the network optimizer app on top of that. So how is HP uh, addressing the issue of making sure that uh, uh, customers have the right people, the right skill set to be able to take advantage of, uh, of these products? Yeah, it's a, we definitely see that it's a journey for our customers. So part of this announcement, along with uh, virtual cloud networking, is a trusted network transformation service. So this is a new service from our, our technology services division that helps de-risk the journey for our customers. So every step along the way from an initial transformation workshop all the way to operationalizing their new data center and their new cloud. We're there every single step of the way helping them helping them along that journey uh, with this new service. Is that something that, that takes uh, a number of months in order to, uh, uh, to complete the, the transformation or is it something that uh, can be measured more in weeks? I think, um, I mean, just the initial transformation workshop happens in one day. So we get this initial look and, and process of what it's going to take. And then really it's up to the customer of how critical is the need for them to evolve. So during our, the keynote actually, that uh, um, the networking track keynote that we, that we did, and Antonio brought up uh, a gentleman from Levi, Strauss. And then they needed to transform their network from February to around August. Very short window because they needed to get that up and operationalized by the time retail, the major boom in retail, exactly. the holiday season. Yeah. So they had a short window to do it and they followed along with this process. How do you keep existing network resources running as you're in the midst of making this? It sounds like you're changing the engine while you're flying along. Um, <clears throat> I think the beauty of what we've been helping our <clears throat> set up for our customers is that we've been laying the groundwork with them since 2007. So <clears throat> they just need to go out there, download some software, and their hardware's already up and running. And they don't have to rip and replace anything, which is really a huge competitive differentiation in a solution. So I didn't mention before that HP virtual cloud networking is tied into our HP Helion OpenStack distribution uh, that we announced a little, uh, about a month back at OpenStack Summit. Right, right. So, it's really providing that orchestration layer on top, really that's combined with software-defined networking, all based off open standards. 
So that now customers can simply upgrade some software and move, start moving to the new solution. Really easy migration path for them. Well, uh, they also have uh, the uh, advantage of removing the vendor lock-in that uh, could occur if they took a, some other approaches. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's one of the big benefits here. What, what, what other benefits accrue, maybe from a business perspective, is in addition to the technology? Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> we want to focus on business agility. So going back to um, the example of Levi, they were stuck in this mode of, <clears throat> of constant reaction. And they were pulled in many different directions. So they were always just reacting to problems as they were coming up. So they could spend no time and, innovating. And that's the only <coughs> customer that's ever reported that problem, right? Absolutely not. That's <laughs> what we're hearing across the board from a lot of our customer base, is that they're stuck in this reactive mode. The network's so complex that it slows down actual business, and it slows down the cloud. We actually believe that without software-defined networking, there can be no cloud, because it's becoming this bottleneck. So that, yeah, compute and storage gets goes provisioned automatically, but then a ticket needs to get filed with the networking team. They gotta go manually intervene. It, it just creates this, this overall, uh, um, overall just... Well, you have a number of things that have to happen serially, yeah. and then you have parallel things that also yeah. have to happen. Yeah, but so by automating all of this, we really provide that business agility so that they can stop programming at this really low level and having this huge complexity, and they can start innovating with what they got. They can start deploying new SDN applications from both HP and our partners, or even innovating themselves with SDN applications. So is that an example of, of how this virtual cloud networking can extend beyond what, what, what OpenStack, the regular OpenStack would provide? Yeah, definitely. So we we um, actually utilize this, what they call the Neutron plugin, which is a networking plugin. So everything is open source there, but we're creating more and more enhancements on top of that. So we'll continue to contribute those enhancements back into the open source community since we're, we're definitely committed to making sure we're open and standards based. But we're also tying in software-defined networking into that plugin as well. So you get all the, that great benefit outside of just the normal OpenStack distribution. Okay. Were there any other uh, announcements at uh, Discover that uh, people should investigate? Yeah, definitely. So I talked about virtual cloud networking, network virtualization, the trusted networking transformation service. Then we also introduced a new line of data center switches, the 7900 series. So those 7900 series is a very compact, high density 40 gig platform to really enable new data center architectures. So in these cloud environments, the customers no longer want to deploy just two big, huge chassis. It creates a very big failure domain for them. If one of them goes down in this aggregation in our core, half of your bandwidth is gone. And that's just not acceptable in cloud environments. Cloud environments have to be 24 by seven. They're serving such a wide array of applications for the business now. Any little hit is, is, is tremendously, uh, tremendously affects the business. So with these new compact form factors, we can create spine and leaf topologies, where there's now a spine of these smaller form factors. So if one goes down, there's maybe you lose only one sixth of your bandwidth or one fourth of your bandwidth, and you yeah. still are, are able to maintain that hit. Exactly, exactly. Well, thanks for providing the, the, the quick summary. Where can people go for more information on uh, HP networking and uh, on other things that may have been introduced here? Yeah, so they can always go to hp.com slash SDN, which really is our landing spot for everything software-defined networking. Excellent. Okay. Thanks very much for, for joining us here again. Uh, thanks to you folks for continuing to follow us here on our coverage of HP Discover. Live streaming of SDR news coverage at HP Discover has been made possible by Intel Corporation. Check out Intel Open Port IT, where you can connect with your peers at Intel on industry topics, best practices, strategies, and more. And by Microsoft, where HP and Microsoft are working together, combining their respective strengths to deliver innovative technologies to help advance your business. 